The men's soccer team was fresh off their successful weekend trip in California and was eager to start Big Ten play back at home against the Wisconsin Badgers. IU men's soccer coach Mike Freitag looks on as his team prepares to take on Wisconsin. Nine to go in the first half from outside the six. Senior Brian Ackley blasts one into the goal and the Hoosiers lead 1-0 over the Badgers. Late in the first half, the Badgers take a long shot at senior goalie Che Kane, but it is denied and Kane would end his day with four saves for the Hoosiers. This looks a little painful, but another look at the save, and this one was definitely not getting by the Hoosiers. With four minutes to go in the first half, the Hoosiers are still up 1-0, but not for long as the ball is scrambled around inside the 18 and the Badgers take a shot going right past goalie Che Kane, and the game would go into halftime tied up one all. Pass from top of the 18 from Eric Alexander to Neil Wilmarth. The goal is scored from the 18, and the Hoosiers are excited about this one as they go up 2-1 to one with 24 minutes to go. Not too long after, the Badgers get the direct kick to tie up the game, and it goes in 2-2, two two, and the game is ended after a lightning delay with the Hoosiers' Eric Alexander scoring the winning goal as the Hoosiers win 3-2. On Thursday, the Indiana women's soccer team lost to in-state rival Butler University 2-1 at Armstrong Stadium. Jocelyn Moses scored the only goal for the Hoosiers in the 73rd minute of play, while Molly Kruger of Butler scored both goals for the Bulldogs. On Sunday, however, the Hoosiers took on Loyola of Chicago. Kristen Arnold scored her first goal of the season, netting an overtime winner to defeat Loyola 2-1. TIS doesn't just sell books, apparently they also sponsor volleyball tournaments. Rachel Benson and Cheryl Gall were at University Gym for every spike, dig, and block of the Hoosiers match versus George Mason. George Mason defeated the Hoosiers 25-19 in the first game. But IU came back and crushed Mason 25-10 in the second game and won the next two games for an overall victory. Coach Dunbar and senior captain Erica Short spoke about how the team was able to come back strong after the first game. Well, I think we made some changes in the lineup in, in set two, and I think they came out with a little bit more fire. I think, you know, they just didn't come out quite ready to play like we had wanted them to. That game was over with, so we were just like, forget it, it's done with, there's nothing we could do about the pass. We had to control the controllable, so. Even though Erica Short is an outside hitter, she said that the key to today's victory was those playing on the middle of the court. Our middles did a great job putting balls away, and um, like Coach said, when we can, the outsides can't put the balls away, the middles have to be there, and um, we, all, we did a great job. From University Gym, I'm Rachel Benson, Hoosier Sports Night. Last year, the IU football team had a magic number of 13 to reach a bowl game for their past coach, Terry Hepner. This year, the girls volleyball team has a magic number as well, the number 12. Their slogan for this year is Fight for 12. Coach Dunbar will be explaining the theory behind the fight with Twelve. Our second season here, rebuilding a program, and so we felt like we really needed to start taking steps forward, and so we came up with the goal of Fight for Twelve. Twelve signifying the month of December, and if you're playing in December, you're in the NCAA tournament. And so I think that's been our goal since last January, and they're really fighting to get to there. Senior Captain Erica Short tells us just what they do to prepare in hopes of accomplishing this. Well, what we're doing to prepare is that we're just coming to practice every day, being ready to, to go out there and fight, you know, like, like we say, fight for 12. With plenty of the season left for the IE volleyball team to reach their number 12 goal, they're off to a great start already. With the Hoosiers, I'm Cheryl Galt, Hoosier Sports Night. This past Friday at the TIS Invitational Tournament, the IU volleyball team had some success, sweeping Ball State 3 to nothing. Senior Captain Julie Pierce became IU's all-time career digs queen when she recorded her 1,332nd career dig. On Saturday, however, that rhythm was broken as the Hoosiers lost to the Cincinnati Bearcats. This marked the second Hoosier defeat in their last 10 matches. The conclusion of this tournament marks the start of the Big Ten schedule. Emily Ferguson has more. How do you refuel after having two weeks of tournament play back to back? We asked senior captain Erica Short and coach John Barr that exact question. How do the girls re-energize and fill up their tank that kind of gets yeah, I low? Think it's kind of crazy because you go in after the match and you think, oh, they're going to be so excited they won. And I'm kind of excited that they weren't. You know, yeah. I mean, they were like, wow, we didn't play good at all. We got the win, but we didn't play well. And I think so them just reloading right now and thinking, okay, we got one more chance today mm -hmm. to really change things around and bring the enthusiasm, the intensity, just like George Mason did. I think George Mason had nothing to lose by playing us. So they're going to come out hard. Physically, I think we're fine. You know, we always get Sunday off to recuperate, so I mean, that's okay, but like, we're not going too, too hard, but we're still doing enough, so that's going to make us better. I think, 
you know, just playing is energizing for them. I mean, playing at this level against any competition, I think thinking about this is our last preseason tournament before the Big Ten starts, so they have a whole other goal in mind now of thinking, okay, we play two top 20 teams at home next weekend. We have to keep getting better this weekend. If we can get two more wins here going into the Big Ten and start at 9-3, and three, I think that that's a huge incentive for them to start Big Ten play. Thanks to Coach Dunbar and Erica Short. We now know that it's not about refueling, but in fact, carrying over the momentum that they have gained from preseason tournament play into the play of the Big Ten. I'm Emily Ferguson from University Gym. Here's your sports night. Selection Sunday is March 15th for the 2009 NCAA Basketball Tournament, but it's never too early to predict who will be in or out. AJ Shub took it to the streets to find out if IU will be in your tournament. After a bumpy 2007-2008 season, ending with a disappointing first round exit at the NCAA Tournament, the 2008-2009 Hoosiers, along with new head coach Tom Crean, are looking to bring back the glory to IU basketball. We're here on campus to see what the IU student body thinks about the chances of the Hoosiers getting back to the NCAA tournament. Well, I know that they have a couple of returning walk-ons and a bunch of new players, but it um, seems like in sports all the time, it's when you don't think any, the, when you think it's not going to happen, that's when it does. I really hope they do, but I don't know since there's a bunch of new freshmen this year, but I'm rooting them one. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this year. I mean, I don't think they really expect to make it either. They have, I think they might have eight freshmen on the team and may maybe one returning. Kyle Tabor, I think, is the only returning player. So, I mean, I don't think they really expect to. I'd say give them a few years, though, and, I mean, there's a good chance they've got some young guys that, I mean, once they get older, should be pretty good together. You know, I have to believe because I go to IU and I believe in the team that, yeah, I think they will pull through. I think it's going to be a difficult year. Um, We've lost a majority of our players. Uh, had Crawford go to Xavier, and that was a pretty big hit. Um, I think that we have some great young players uh, with no experience, so it'll be interesting. The IU student body seems to think that this season will be a rebuilding one for Hoosier basketball. I guess we'll just have to wait till the opener in November to see. On campus, I'm AJ Shube. Who's your sports night? We've all seen the videos honoring him at football and basketball games. We catch up with Anthony Thompson after the break. He stepped up his game in the absence of James Hardy, but he's also made a name for himself in the professional baseball world. We bring you an up-close look of Andrew Means next on Hoosier Sports Night. 